Hey, hello, Red Sierra. I've opened this uh, plan of yours in uh, Chief Architect X5 64-bit. <coughs> I initially tried to open it in Architectural, but you've already apparently opened it in Pro, so it will no longer it's no longer editable in Architectural. So I'm going to hit Shift F6 on my keyboard, tile these screens up. And uh, on the plan view side, I'm going to go down to the first floor. And the thing about this window here, it's just not just an afterthought. It's, it's called an egress window. And for a bedroom, especially one like this, that has, that's the only window of this bedroom. So if there was a fire here and you couldn't leave the structure down the stairs, you have to have an egress window. And it has to be, it can't be any smaller than that. So that's an arbitrary. Now we can move it up if necessary. I guess you could move it up. Uh, but the, there's a minimum height above the floor that it has to be also in order to be a usable egress window. So anyway, keep that in mind. And depending on where your structure is, you know, the applicable building codes, you'll need to check with the permit guys to, Make sure that the, the egress window for that bedroom is not too small or too high, that sort of thing. So I'm going to go down to the uh, first floor of this plan view. And uh, with Pro or with uh, Chief Architect Premier, you just click on the uh, roof tools to make it the active icon. And then uh, I'm going to zoom in over here so we can get that, you know, left click and drag and create a manual roof plane. And then drag in the direction I want it to uh, slant, and then left click, and it'll create a roof plane there. <coughs> now on this plan view screen, I'm going to back up some. And tell this roof plane here, it's too, that's too steep, obviously. So uh, the, the least, the lowest pitch you can have and use shingles is 312. If you want to go less steep than 312, you're going to have to have a metal roof or some sort of uh, impervious type uh, roofing underneath the shingles. And so I'm just going to go three and see how that works out. 312. Okay, now we'll take this roof plane over here and drag it up to just outside that wall. <clears throat> See, it's going to interfere with that window. And currently I've got the window, by the way. It's a 3 by 4 window and it's an 84 inch header. I think that would be uh, okay, but not any higher. And we can't make this with the window smaller. You understand you have to be able to raise the sash and crawl through it to save yourself from a fire that's the whole point of the uh, of that that particular requirement so 312 isn't going to work like it or not it's not going to work uh, I suppose you could take this window and make it wider that might that might be acceptable you could make this uh, like uh, 36 by uh, 60 and make the window type sliding and you could you could escape through one of the sashes of this this type type of window see how, how that works yeah that just barely that barely fits in there but I think that would work now we can take the roof plane go back to plan view and click on the roof plane and just drag it across And give it some overhang on this side. Click on this screen and move the. I think we're going to have to put hips on there for this to work right. I think that you mentioned that in your post, and it's not hard to do. Uh, let's see, that's uh, three twelve. I'm going the way you do this. I'm going to go back to the plan screen here on the right, and we'll make this uh, into a triangle. 
you'll see it reshape into a triangle. I'll leave it like that for now. I want that just outside the wall. Okay. Now I'm going to draw a roof plane over here on this side. <clears throat> I'm going to change it to 312 because it's, you know, the, what you've got set for the default is too steep for this purpose here. 1212 is not going to work. So we'll put in 312 to see if this will, this will work. And so we'll make this into a, uh, a hip a hip roof and drag this end up to just short of that wall drag this end down I'm just left clicking and dragging on the move handles by the way there's nothing mysterious going on click on this corner handle and reshape it into a triangle and now that I've got that shaped up I'm going to use the join roofs planes tool and there's no tools here in Although this is a Chief Architect Premier, the, the roof tools are precisely the same in, uh, okay, I see what's happening here. I'm going to I am going to have to make this into a triangle. And then click on this edge and join this edge to this hip I drew over there. Okay. I'm gonna I need another hip on, on this side. So I'm just gonna copy this one over here to the other side. And uh where's the rotate handle? There's the rotate handle, that little triangular thing. We'll turn it around. I can't see the uh must be turned off. The roof's baseline. Yeah, I see that baseline layer is turned off. I'm going to turn that on. That's the baseline right there, that little line that just appeared. That's the one that needs to be right on the uh, edge of the framing where the uh, roof plane transfers its load to the structural wall. So I'll move that baseline to right there where it's supposed to be. Come on, Ben. <clears throat> okay, now how this is going to go, this one's, of course, angling the wrong way, so I'm just going to grab this end and, and re-angle it. And I think the way this is going to go, this plane here, I'm just going to drag it down. Oops, I just need a triangle there. There, I want to snap it into a triangle. And then these uh, side planes, I'm going to reshape them. Because I think these side planes are going to cr create a ridge of their own. So we'll flatten that one out right there. And we'll flatten this one out to on the other side to, to match, use the break line tool to resh reshape the geometry of the roof plane like that. You only have to get this fairly close and then the join roofs command will uh, take over from there. Like I intend to uh, click on this line here so you can see it selected. Hit the uh, join roof planes tool, left click and then click on what I want it to join to, and it should, yeah, it joined up. And there's that ridge I was talking about. And now we can take these other ridges, hip ridges, and connect them one at a time. And this is why you spend the extra money for a Chief Premier or a Home Designer Pro, so that you have the freedom to do this sort of design work. Now that, that's a workable roof, and uh, we could actually make this window a little larger now that I have the roofs in properly. And you, you could build that, and it'll shed water and so forth. Now these are admittedly 312, but they'll, they'll take shingles and they'll shed water if you have a competent roofer. I guess we could take that 
And let's see, it was uh, 36 by 60, I think, or 48. I think 36 by 48 is going to be the smallest you can have in an egress window. I'll make that back into a uh, single hung. See if that fits. Yeah, okay, that fits. And that'll be legal. You'll be able to get that built, and, and uh, building inspectors will okay that and so forth. So if there was a fire here and uh, you couldn't use a staircase, you could use this window, climb out, jump down. That's the whole point of an egress, egress window, as I understand it. So hopefully this uh, this will help you out. I mean, manual roof editing is just something that you have to learn. It's not something you just click a button and it just happens. Uh, I suppose you could put a wall break here. Uh, where's the wall break tool? Got it over here in the plan view. There's a wall break tool. You can put a wall break here. I think that's correlated with the wall above. Yeah, it looks like it. Break this off here. <clears throat> and see with your build roof set to 12-12 uh, for most of the house, then you could open each of these walls. This is how you could have done it in uh, architectural. We'll open those three walls there. I don't think in architecture you could shift select them like I've done, but uh, open them one at a time. Go to the roof tab and put in the 312 there. I've already figured out that 312 is what's going to work. <coughs> and... Uh, well, let's just automatically build those, see what happens. <clears throat> now, when you automatically re rebuild, see, it's going to—it's asking me there. The roof services you manually created will be deleted. Okay. That's okay. We got some more settings to make, like this. Dialog here probably says, yeah, see no roof, that was unchecked, that's a no-no. <laughs> and let's see, we want to ignore the, uh, in order to get this to work out, we want to uh, go over here and ignore the second floor. Now, we'll try that again. And that's just, this is just message here just telling me that I've manually altered a wall. That, that wasn't really part of this tutorial, but, uh, okay, well, this is turning into a debacle. You've got other settings that are kind of set wrong for automatic, automatic roofs. I know you tried and tried and tried, but sometimes by guessing, you're just making it harder to get anything done instead of just reading the uh, reference manual and finding out how to do it properly. Uh, it's create, trying to create a gable there. So this, this wall here should be set to full gable wall, and it is. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, this deck must be a program. Yeah, no, you got it. No ceiling, no roof, that's correct. I don't know why it's trying to build a roof out over there. Okay, I'm just going to hit Control Z. I'm trying to auto build roofs on on a complicated structure is sometimes uh, too much trouble. I'm going to hit Control Z again. Control Z is a standard Windows command to undo. And I'll hit Control Z and Control Z. That's undo. Hopefully I can make it all the way back. There we go. So this is what I recommend that you just uh, this roof is okay, and just draw these three twelve roofs in there. And to create a, a hip roof here, you saw I did it manually. It just takes a little practice and setting things up properly. There's one roof plane, and there's another. And uh, we'll rotate this. So you can see it a little bit better. 
Well, where's the rotate gadget? There it is. <clears throat> so I just drew a roof plane here, made it 312, and gave it this shape. This one, 312, 312, and then, and then manually join them together. That's what work, seems to work for this structure. Okay. And it doesn't look too bad. Thank you.